Hello everyone, it's Gina. I am back in my kitchen and this is going to be my Christmas dinner video for y'all. Um, so I have a video where I was decorating some Christmas cookies. That's dessert for today, but that's going to be a separate upload. So the sugar cookies and the chocolate chip cookies that I made are for dessert. I made those yesterday. First thing we're going to do is we're going to work on a glaze for ham. I did end up getting the Smithfield boneless ham steak at Dollar General. That was $3.25 for that piece of um, ham steak. So what I've got to go on it I, now, this stuff here came from Dollar Tree. So, it's kind of a combination between Dollar General and Dollar Tree for this video. I've got some spicy brown mustard. I got a can of pineapple tidbits. I'm not going to use the actual chunks of pineapple, but I'm going to use the juice. I also got some light brown sugar. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and drain the juice off of the pineapple and I already have some uh, brown sugar that is open so I'm not going to open up the box that I showed y'all but yes that did come from Dollar Tree to replenish the brown sugar I'm going to put my brown sugar in. I'm going to get this going. All right, y'all. I've got everything in for my glaze. I'm going to let that simmer there in that pot. And we are going to go over here and get started on the rest of the meal and talk about what else we're having. All right, y'all. Next thing we're going to make is a sweet potato casserole. As you see, I've got a can of yams here. It's a 29-ounce can. I've got this into my baking dish already. Um, I don't do a lot with mine that's extra, extra special. And I'm going to put in some pumpkin pie spice instead of individual spices. And I do like mine to have quite a bit of the spice in it. Y'all. I know a lot of people do it that way. Jen just takes the lid off and puts plenty in. Um, I'm also, this is out of my cupboard that I normally keep. Um, I've also got out of my cupboard just some vanilla flavored, uh, you know, just vanilla, artificial vanilla. We're going to add some of that in I think the vanilla adds a lot of flavor to it y'all I particularly prefer mine to have some vanilla in it I'm going to stir those through and that smells good already y'all I'm not going to lie this is uh, how my husband gained weight, y'all. He likes my sweet potatoes. Um, I've also got here, this is from Dollar Tree. It's just regular um, imperial margarine. I'm going to put some of that in there because I know that my husband does like his this weight. And, and this is the equivalent of a couple sticks, y'all. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of try to mash that in, y'all, with the rest of this. 
and I do kind of mash my potatoes up a little bit I want them to be a little chunky but also a little smooth so I don't add any milk to mine some people do some people don't I'm gonna go over here and check on my ham glaze real quick y'all okay y'all if y'all can afford them get some marshmallows or get you some this is pecan pieces um, to go on here if that's all you can afford is just the uh, potatoes and what the margarine and stuff that's good it still tastes good this just adds a little flavor to it um, but it is not necessary I just happen to have these laying around for the holiday baking type stuff so uh i was fortunate enough to have those this year but again they are not necessary and i'm just putting enough on there to get some flavor and that's it that's maybe a third of a cup of nuts okay I'm not going to put any marshmallows on, at least not right now. What else do we have? We have got two cans of cream style corn. I've got two boxes of mac and cheese from um, Dollar General. The corn came from there as well. I've got a can of uh, brown sugar baked beans. Those are also from Dollar General. I've got a pack of cheddar garlic biscuit mix this is from Dollar Tree I've got if y'all can find some Velveeta cheese sauce I'm not going to use this pack because it's jalapeno but if you can find the plane at yours then you know by all means I'm trying to keep this around 20 bucks again between the two stores i'll add everything up and see what we've got total wise i think i'm getting somewhere close to the 20 dollars mark on all this but i will try to figure out more of an exact amount for the mac and cheese i'm going to just show you i got this quart of whole milk at dollar tree so if you think that um, you don't have milk or whatever and want milk and margarine in there you can get both of those at the dollar tree as well as a box of mac and cheese okay so y'all know how to heat all this stuff up um i will get this in and show y'all what we've got going okay y'all i've got all the sugar melted and everything in this glaze and i'm just i had a little bit of extra ham y'all so i did add some of the ham that I had left in my refrigerator um, so that I can have that for ham and biscuits it just sounded good um, so we've got this we're gonna get this baked all right y'all we're gonna mix up this biscuit mix again it's just the Pillsbury cheddar garlic biscuit mix we've got half a cup of milk in our measuring here in our measuring cup and this is a liquid measuring cup. They do look different. So I'm going to mix this all in and then I'll show y'all how I drop them. All right, y'all, I've got my greased cookie sheet here. I'm just going to drop some biscuits onto here.
Okay, y'all. Got me some biscuits there. Um, I will be back momentarily to show you the rest. All right, y'all. What I've done is I washed this out. And I put my half cup of milk and the t eight tablespoons of butter that I needed for the macaroni and cheese so that I could go ahead and put up my milk that I had out. I'm just going to open up these cans of cream style corn and we'll put some butter in or margarine what's left in there. And yeah, y'all, I think this was right around the $20 mark. Um, so, and I'm sure y'all know how to make box mac and cheese. Most of us do. And I'm sure y'all know how to heat up canned vegetables on the stove. Most of us do. But um, anyway... That's kind of what I'm doing for Christmas dinner this year. I'm doing something simple, something easy, and something that will feed a lot of mouths. Um, and I'm also trying to show y'all how to stretch out what meals you all are making uh, on a budget. Now, the piece of ham that I got, it was an 8-ounce piece, that ham steak. So, if you have enough sides and stuff for people, then you can get away with a smaller portion of the ham. That's just how it is. But you got to have plenty of uh, sides. So, that means, you know, extra mac and cheese or extra stuffing or extra baked beans so that people will have plenty enough to eat. You don't want to have not enough. So, anyway, when we get all this cooked and together, I will show you what everything looks like. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. If you haven't already, consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. Um, I appreciate all of your input. And I am very grateful for the new people that are joining the channel. Thank you. Or subscribing, rather. I don't have anything where I'm monetized y'all um not even my YouTube account is monetized so I will see you all in the next one and have a good day God bless